with that said, we're going to move to the Cal Golden Bears and uh, Justin Wilcox and that bunch. This is one I'm very uh, curious what your thoughts are. Went one and three last yeah. year. Uh, went eight and five the season before that. So you know, that's that's definitely good. Very weird. Step in the right direction. Right. Yes. Very weird to be uh, eight and five. Which a yes. That's a huge overstep for them usually. Yes. Very much so. Uh, and, and they did lose their defensive coordinator, Tim DeRuiter. I don't worry about that. Well, I mean, he he headed to Oregon, so that's yeah. Not, but um, once again. This it's, is a, it's Wilcox's this defense. This is a Wilcox defense. Yes. All right. Wilcox yes. is not an offensive genius by any stretch of the imagination. This is his defense. The not worried about win it. total is six here. To go over it is plus 100. Yeah. So to go under minus 130, uh, looking at the schedule, and they got they got toss ups right out of the gate, man. Uh, they're playing Nevada, who has, I mean, that's Much a improved. team. Much yeah. improved. They got Nevada, and then they play at TCU. At TCU, that's crazy. Yes. Now, they do have a built-in win with Sacramento State, so that's yeah. good. But then you go to Washington. Now, remember, Cal has a couple of wins over Washington in the last however many years. Uh, I've, I've got no idea what to make of this team. I um, don't either. They, they beat teams that they shouldn't. They lose to teams like Oregon State and UCLA, who have been terrible over the last however many years. Uh, now, both of them are getting better. Does that mean Cal beats them now that they're getting better? I, you know, who I don't knows? Know. I don't know. Uh, this lots is, of starters back on offense. It's like, the hardest one for me to figure. Cal, a couple of years ago, when they went 8-5, and five, they went 7-0 and oh with quarterback uh, Chase Garbers starting. He was not good last year. No. Like, not at all. Uh, offense doesn't produce any big plays. They were number 112 in passing success rate. Um, they're bringing a lot of those guys back. <laughs> Cameron Good, the linebacker. Like, he needs help. Uh, cornerback, uh, Josh Drayden. Like, those two are studs, I've, but they I've, need help on defense, man. I've, I, I think they're going to be okay on defense. Like I, I trust Wilcox to field a good defense, right? Yeah. Like I trust. They're going to be coached but, up uh, well. They're going to make almost no mistakes on defense. They're not going to get some dumb penalty. They're not going to jump offside. Like they're not going to hurt themselves in I, any I stretch. Feel like they need more talent in in this conference, they especially against this schedule. They man. this is this is Utah. Multiply by a thousand by my logic. They need I mean, it's a, a bunch playmaker of to put up points. Yeah, which means I got them losing a lot, potentially a lot of those toss ups. I've got them. I've got okay. them under the six. Okay, I do too. That hurts. I like Will Cox. Yeah, a I hope lot. good things. But this is this is one of those situations where can you want to come be a DC somewhere? Yeah. Like we we get you a job. You don't have to keep doing what you're doing at Cal, man. Yeah. That is not a way to live. Now, no. Berkeley is a beautiful place, but like, that it, is not it, living, it man. Just, it blows my mind that he hasn't been able to to get an offensive corner. No, that doesn't that scare can. It doesn't. It's Cal Berkeley. You're not going to get talent. They're not going to be able to recruit anybody. Nobody's I mean, Tedford coming was able there. to get guys. Like, it, what, what Tedford did there was he was he had the offense rolling, right? And then Sonny Dykes went in, and he had the offense rolling. And then they went the complete, and this is typical in a relationship. You were burned by, you know, you know the super pretty girl. That's right. Then you're going to go out and date like a, a five for a little while. Well, you know no, it's leave. it's it's you're you you know, and, then, and I'm not calling Wilcox you, a five. I'm you, saying you're with somebody who's a workaholic. So now you're going to be with somebody who's lazy because the first one never made time for you. Like it's yes, it's they both have their own qualities that are positive and negative, but at the same time, you're choosing to go a different direction because. The last thing didn't work out. Yes. Yes. The the issue is the Sonny Dykes isn't walking through that door to be an OC. No. That's the problem. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's it's a little confusing. But either way, we're we're both going under six. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going under that one hurt me. I was curious if you went over and I went under, it's gonna make me feel like I was gonna feel like a dick. Because no. I like Wilcox. I just don't think the offense is there. I don't either. But that's why I struggle I struggle to give the coin flip nods to teams that I don't think can score. Makes sense. It's not that they're bad at scoring. It's just, the the ones that cannot put up points. Four, yeah, Th- these are yep. teams that are going to struggle to get seventeen a week, and that's just not where college football is. You're right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.